United Nations, more than 100 countries defied President Donald Trump on Thursday and voted in favor of a United Nations General Assembly resolution calling for the United States to withdraw its decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Trump had threatened to cut off financial aid to countries that voted in favor. His warning did appear to have some impact with nine countries voting against the resolution and 35 abstaining. A total of 128 countries voted for the resolution. U.S. President Donald Trump threatened to cut off financial aid to countries that vote in favor of a draft United Nations resolution against his decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Helped into a car with a maroon shawl over her head, Australian accountant Isaac Emmanuel Roberts' mum visited him amid his bully incarceration on drug charges. HMAS AE1 vanished off the Papua New Guinea coast on September 14, 1914, leaving the fate of her 35 Australian and British crew members a mystery till now. The father of an Australian woman shot dead by a police officer in the US has questioned the integrity and completeness of the probe into his daughter's death. An Australian man has been stabbed to death in Gothenburg, in Sweden. Senator Mark Warner warned U.S. President Donald Trump against firing special counsel Robert Mueller or pardoning targets of the federal probe into Russia and the president's Republican campaign. Donald Trump's inauguration, the legalization of same-sex marriage and everything in between, we take a look back at the year that was. Customers can now get their selfie on their cappuccino, with the tea terrace in Oxford Street, the first to introduce the frothy portrait. U.S. President Donald Trump threatened to cut off financial aid to countries that vote in favor of a draft United Nations resolution against his decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. The U.S. vote in opposition was joined by countries including Guatemala, Nauru and Micronesia. Key abstentions came from Australia, Canada, Argentina and Romania. The United States will remember this day when it was singled out for attack in the General Assembly. Haley said at the United Nations podium ahead of the vote. We will remember it when so many countries come calling on us, as they often do, to pay even more. This vote will be remembered. The U.S. threat was repudiated by speakers from countries supporting the resolution, which says the status of Jerusalem must be resolved through negotiations. A similar resolution had 14 votes in favor in the 15-member Security Council last week prompting Haley to exercise the first U.S. veto since 2011. We were all asked to vote no or face the consequences, Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Cavusoglu said before voting began. Some even threatened to cut development aid. This is bullying it is unethical to think that the votes and dignity of member states are for sale. The debate follows Trump's December 6 announcement, which included a decision to begin moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem from Tel Aviv. The announcement prompted criticism across the Middle East and from key U.S. allies in Europe, who said it would harm efforts to foster Middle East peace.